Hey, how's it going guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how I bought this, uh, I think it's a Widowmaker lace front wig, and I turned it into a Horang from Tekken wig. But uh, again, like take it with a grain of salt, this is just a, a style, like a slick back hairstyle, you can do all sorts of characters, including the, the Gilgamesh from Fate, you could be doing Reinhardt, you could be doing whatever character has the hair slick back, you know? There's, there's more more than you think. Anyway, let's jump into the tutorial. I've already started with the, uh, I'm cutting the side down. Again, I'm using standard scissors uh, and the, the thinning scissors. Thinning scissors look like crocodile teeth. The standard scissors look like, guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. Standard scissors. Um, if you don't really still have an idea about this stuff, check out my other tutorial which goes through all the basics and you can, you'll you be able to analyze this video and see what I'm doing and you probably don't even need me talking over this video right now. So I've already done one side, I've actually just skipped the process of showing you me cutting the video, for, cutting the, the wig for hours and hours. Um, and actually a lot of thinning and a lot of cutting for this. I was surprised how thick this wig actually was. Um, so pretty much I was just thinning it out, layering it out. Again, all that information can be found on my other wig tutorial. This one's just showing you how to do it with a lace front and get this certain style. And uh, again, I'm a big fan of spray hairspray and the hair dryer combo to keep the, the wig in place and always section off the wig 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 so this is my first time playing with the lace front I'm pretty happy with it I'm pretty sure this one was one of those ones that uh, were meant to be like actual people that wear wigs on a daily basis but uh, really gave off a natural look which I like and just in case you're wondering, over there there's a picture of Horing on the bottom right and that's because I stole my wigs naked and I did not realize that you can see my pee pee in the reflection of the shower. So uh, I think I had to block that in case, you know, like being demonetized and uh, you know, getting reported and all that. Now I'm, I'm still sectioning off the wig, I'm looking at the reference, always look back to the reference, always style the wig while you're cutting it even if you know it's not the right length yet you can always just style it just to know what sections you're doing and what what you need to cut and what you don't need to cut and what you need to layer what you need to continue doing what you have to stop doing because sometimes we all we all make mistakes sometimes we cut the wig a bit too short Now I'm, I'm still doing that thing with the thinning scissors to layer it out a bit more. I'm really layering this one out just because Horang has so many layers. Just like onions. Like cakes. Like ogres. <laughs> and uh... Yeah, like... I don't know if you saw my dick just then. But I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna erase that part. <laughs> <laughs> I edited this video and then I didn't I didn't actually fully watch the whole time lapse. Alright, but I know where that, that dick slip was, so I'm gonna just not talk about it anymore. So when when the wig starts get, getting a bit too wet from the 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 hairspray, I like to use a comb and comb it out, it dries it out again. And it keeps the strength in there, so you can just, if your wig's not, not obeying you, you can just spray it, hair dry it, and then brush it, and then go back to spraying it, doing that over and over again until it's completely solid and not looking like it's, it's actually solid, because uh, the wet look sort of doesn't look that great on wigs, unless the character has that wet look, you know? But, yeah. Here's me layering up the middle and trying to put it all together as like one piece because this wig originally was a 
a middle fringe, I think. And uh, in case you were wondering, that white substance was uh, hair mousse, which I don't use often. I uh, just wanted to try it out to keep the wig in place with this wig, see if it worked. And here's me trying on the goggles, so I know which part's gonna be where when I'm wearing it. Also, when you're doing the wig, some wigs like this, you want to take it off and put it on and take it off and put it on to see how many different variations it could end up looking like on your head. Because every time you wear this wig, it's, well, every time I wore this wig, it looks completely different. So, uh, I, I, I took it off and put it on and wore it a few times and cut it accordingly. Just so that when I put it on, on the days that I need it most, uh it won't look bad like there's no possible combination where it i put it on and it just looks bad again the hair dryer and hairspray combo in case you're wondering i do this so it sets while you're doing it and it, it saves a lot of time and it makes the wig not look soaked when you're doing it which is great if you're lazy like me and now i'm thinning i mean i'm was it teasing? I'm teasing the front of the wig with the scissors, the teeth part of the scissors, because I can't find my comb, and this works too. So the act of teasing is pulling your hair up and uh, pulling the hair down with the scissors to hold it in that place, and what it does is actually thickens that part that you want it to be thick at. I learned this during my emo scene days, and it was a very popular thing to do with your hair to make it look real full. Here's me just trying to get the last bits of details accurately. And uh, just, just, uh, just in case you're wondering, I style my wigs naked because I really hate wig hair in my clothes. It ruins my clothes. And then when I put in the washing with my other clothes, it goes into my other clothes. It ruins all my clothes. So this way I could just do it, take a shower, and then never think about it again. Actually, I'll have to clean it up off the floor, take a shower, and then never think about it again. So that's a life hack if you ever get wig hair in your underwear or whatever, in your ass crack, whatever. And the wig is looking pretty much done. So uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that like button. Smash. Smash the, the, the subscribe, smash the bell icon, smash the penis tip. <laughs>